Hello again. In this video we're going to look at casting in the silicon moulds with this Jedio resin plaster. It works in a similar way to plaster of Paris, although this is supposed to be much stronger and finer, and apparently is an alternative to resin, which if that's true, would be a much cleaner way of casting in moulds than resin and much cheaper. This is about £8.50 per kilogram. So I'm just going to take a look at the instructions and we'll get back to mixing the product and casting these moulds. So inside the box we get a kilogram bag of resin plaster and the instructions. The instructions say to pour out one part cold water and sprinkle in three parts of the resin plaster powder, then allow it to sit without stirring for a minute, then to stir for a further minute. In this cup I have two tablespoons full of cold water. I'm going to sprinkle on six tablespoons of the resin plaster powder. I'm going to let that sit for a minute before I stir it. This is to allow it to slake, to let the plaster absorb water and it strengthens the final result. So it's been about a minute and I'm going to give it a stir. There does seem to be a lot of plaster for the amount of water. That seems to be quite a smooth mix. I'm going to pour some into the mould. I'm trying to be quite careful as these moulds are quite small and I don't want to overfill them. Using a cocktail stick or a toothpick will help get the resin plaster into the edges of the mould. It's a good idea to drop the mould or tap it to release any air bubbles while it's still liquid. It also helps get the resin plaster into all of the mould's fine details. I still have quite a bit of plaster left, so I'm going to use it in some other moulds. These have been curing for about an hour, so I should be able to demould them now. I'm just gently flexing the mould as I don't know how strong the resin plaster is. Some pieces have cracked, so it's not as strong as resin but it doesn't matter as I can use the broken pieces in my mixed media projects. They do generally come out of the moulds quite easily. These keys are usually an awkward one and often break so I'm just being a little bit careful with this one. I did find that you had to work quite quickly before the mixture went off and it was easier, especially with the more shallow moulds, to put the resin plaster in using a pellet knife. As you can see, they're quite detailed castings. This one has air bubble in it, but I quite like it. 
My question is, if it's really any stronger than regular plaster of Paris, as resin plaster is almost three times the price. I'm not really sure how these will come out, as it's a deep and quite detailed mould. I'm being very careful just to tease them out, to minimise any damage. I'm going to clean the edges of these up later with a craft knife. I certainly don't think it's on a par with resin, it's far too brittle, but it is stronger than plaster of Paris. I hope you found this video to be useful, if you have please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. Thank you for watching.